joined now by Dina Yordanova. She is a professor of global cinema at the University of St. Andrews in Edinburgh. Thank you for joining us on the program. You know, as I said, this is a classic movie, widely considered for decades to be one of the greatest films ever made. Do you think it's fair to judge and critique an 80-year-old film uh, like this within the context of modern society? Uh I wouldn't really discuss fairness in this situation because it's obviously a rapid response to uh, to the racial uh, protests in America. Uh, my concern is, uh, is, it, is it really a genuine move uh, to remove this film? Because, of course, it's been pulled out of uh, HBO, but at the same time, this is uh, a film which has position number four in the 100 best uh, films uh, of all times in the American Film Institute listing. Uh, Directors Guild of America has it at no position number nine. Entertainment Weekly at 15. Uh, Hollywood Reporter has it also. So every film, every list of 100 best films of all time is listing gone, gone in the wind. So even if it is removed, uh, the gap that will be left uh, raises more question marks uh, uh, than actually resolves. Uh, uh, is this just a gesture to appease a current situation, or is it really some genuine uh, move? Right. Uh, Hattie McDaniel became the first black person ever to win an Academy Award for her role as domestic servant Mammy. HBO Max coincidentally removed the film uh, on June 10th uh, yesterday, which would have been her 127th birthday. Do you think that this move erases that huge achievement? It does not erase the achievement, but certainly it's not working as it is intended to be. I didn't know it was her birthday. Uh, this week I have myself been trying to recognize the work of various other uh, uh, directors uh, uh, and uh, actors. Uh, I was posting the image uh, uh, of some other actors whose, whose work uh, has not been as highly recognized, but obviously the first woman ever, ever to receive an Oscar for her role uh, should not really uh, have to meet her uh, 127th birthday in a context where her, her work is erased uh, just uh, while the context is being adjusted. Uh, this, of course, is happening in the context of removal of all sorts of uh, monuments uh, all over Europe. Uh, uh, we have uh, uh, numerous controversies on television every day uh, uh, here in Scotland. Uh, uh, so clearly there is a very rapid uh, and very rushed uh, revisionist uh, uh, move. Uh, revision is absolutely necessary. Uh, question is, uh, how do we go uh, about it after that? Uh, the film Birth of a Nation by David Griffith uh, uh, from 1915 was considered to be one of the most important uh, uh, American films of all times, uh, and it was similarly exposed uh, some years ago. And uh, uh, nowadays it's mainly spoken as extremely controversial film which glorifies slavery uh, and lynchings. Uh, uh, but for very many years this film uh, was regarded as a masterpiece. Uh, so uh, some kind of calmer debate is needed, uh, and uh, this calmer debate also has to come along with bigger recognition of the tremendous contribution which black people are making uh, uh, to uh, cinematic culture. Uh, it cannot be also limited uh, just to Americans, because there are some absolutely fantastic films made uh, in African countries, which are largely remaining unseen because of the Hollywood dominance, so we cannot really know what is made in Africa. Uh, there are very many important films made also in other countries uh, uh, by black uh, directors, uh, uh, featuring black actors. Uh, uh, all this has to come into prominence right. and be given more attention. Right, and, and certainly, and, and just to get back to the controversy that's surrounding Gone with the Wind, uh, do you think that movies like this that glamorize the South during the time of slavery actually contribute to racism? Uh, I really do not know. You're finding me unprepared with this question. Uh, or perhaps, perhaps it, can, it can help with, with the debate that's surrounding this. Do you think that it can help create a dialogue? Uh, they probably, I am sure that they do, uh, but there are many more recent examples 
that we really need to look at more closely. Uh, and you're not mentioning, but there is a controversy in the UK uh, because a, a recent uh, long-standing television series has been removed uh, uh, by the BBC called uh, uh, Little Britain. Right. Uh, which is like, you know, much more recent and which evolves around racial stereotypes. Uh, uh, so most certainly, uh, I would much favor uh, looking into more okay. recent examples uh, uh, in making a revision because more recent examples are really much more influential uh, of uh, shaping the thinking of people today. Certainly. Fair enough. Dina Yordanova, thank you so much for uh, joining us for this conversation.